Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. In this upload, I'd like to show you how to increase the efficiency of the use of Excel using the right mouse button where I have a series of numbers or dates. Now, as we know, in this cell here with the number one, if I point at the autofill button in the bottom right hand corner, my mouse changes to a crosshair. When I see the crosshair, I can hold down the right mouse button and drag down through a number of cells and then I can say fill series and the series will be filled by increasing the number by one each time. What if I wanted to start with the number five, however, and auto fill down, and this time what I want to do is by clicking the series command, I want to use a step value of five. In other words, I want each number in that column in a linear sense to increase by the number five each time. So when I click OK, there I see that that has done exactly what I want it to do. Now the next example is the growth series. So I'm going to click on here, hold my right mouse button down and drag down through some cells and this time when I click the word series, the command series, I want to increase the step value in a growth sense so that in each cell the number is increased by 6% of the preceding cell. So I type 106%. And now when I click OK, I can see that, for example, if I had a 1,000 deposit in a bank account and I was getting 6% per annum, at the end of the first year I'd have 1,060. That amount in the uh, end of the second year, etc. So each of those cells increases by 6% on the cell above. It's very, very handy for working out uh, if you're saving money, uh, how much you're going to finish up with at the end of a certain uh, uh, amount of time, uh, given that the return will be uh, built upon the balance that was there at the end of the previous year. What about including uh, in incrementing by day? I'll click on the cell, right mouse button down when I see the crosshair, and this time in the series I can say fill days, and that is exactly what it does. What about incrementing by month? When I right click, or right drag I should say, and fill weekdays, I will see that it will uh, not count Saturdays and Sundays, we'll see how that works in this cell here, but in this case what I want to do is increment by month. So when I click fill months, there we see that it goes up a month at a time. Similarly, fill the years, right mouse button down, fill the years, and there we go, the years increase by one. This last one is rather handy if you uh, uh, were perhaps uh, designing a, a worksheet for a five day week. So we'll drag down with the right mouse button and this time fill weekdays. In other words, leave out the Saturdays and the Sundays. So I know that the 19th and 20th of August here are Saturdays and Sundays. And it will continue to do that uh, as you further drag down. So remember that the right mouse button used with the autofill button in the bottom right hand corner of a cell enables you to perform uh, quite fast uh, data entry uh, as opposed to using the left mouse button or typing in the information that you want. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.